hello students welcome back to engineers academy do hit the subscribe button if you are here for the first time now we are going to solve this problem which says that determine the average shear stress developed in pin a of the truss horizontal force p of 40 kN is applied to joint c each pin has a diameter of 25 mm and is subjected to a double shear so we are asked to find uh, the average shear stress in the pin at point A of the truss. So we have the pin here. So we want to find uh, the average shear stress. And it is said that the diameter of the pin is 25 mm and it is subjected to double shear, right? So if the force is applied on the pin in this direction, so it is subjected to two shear forces. Uh, and because of these two brackets, uh, we, the the force in the downward direction will will have the shear force on both sides of the pin on the on on both sides the cross section is having the shear force in the opposite direction of the reaction forces at a so first of all what we will do is that we will find the support reactions so at a because at a we have the pin joint so we will have ax so let's say we have let me write that we have a x support reaction and we have this is a x and this is a y and similarly at b we have the roller support so we will have b y right so we can say this is b y so to find the shear force we must find a x and a y at the at the pin which is located at a right so this p force is equal to 40 kilonewton. So considering the whole truss, we can apply the sum of the moment about point A. The sum of the moment about point A must be equal to zero. Counterclockwise moment is assumed to be positive. So A X and A Y they are not going to produce the moment about point A. B Y is producing the counterclockwise moment about point A. So we will write plus B y and the perpendicular distance of this by from that point a is 2 meters this is the moment arm so we can say by multiplied by 2 and this p force is producing the clockwise moment about point a so you will write minus 40 and the moment arm of this 40 kilonewton force from that point a is 1.5 right so 1.5 this is equal to 0. So from this we can say that By is equal to plus 40 into 1.5 divided by 2 which we can see that it is 40 multiply 1.5 divided by 2 this gives us 30. So By is equal to 30 kilonewton because the P force is given in kilonewton. Now to find a x and a y if we apply the sum of the forces in the x that must be equals to zero towards the right is our positive x now a x is in the negative x so you will write minus a x and that p force is in the positive x which is 40 kN. so plus 40 equals to zero and from this we can say that a x is equal to 40 kilo newton similarly we can say that the sum of the forces in the y it must be equals to zero and upward direction is considered to be positive so we can say that a y is acting in the positive y so we have a y and b y is acting in the positive y so b y is plus 30 this is equal to zero so from this we can say that a y is equal to minus 30 kN. So the minus sign tells us that actually a y is in the downward direction. So we can say that now a y has a magnitude of we can say that a y has a magnitude of 30 kN and it is acting in the downward direction. So let me show it here. This is acting in the downward direction like this. So now the resultant force on the pin at A will be equal to. So we can say that the resultant force A or we can say that the resultant reaction force at A will be equal to AX square. So which is 40 and AY square under the square root. This gives us 
40 square plus 30 square this is equal to 50 so a is equal to 50 kilonewton now this a is the resultant force right so this resultant force will be acting in this direction but this resultant force is the the force of pin a on the truss right or we can say that this is the force of pin a on these two members so is a reaction um, what will happen is that this pin a will will have the force in this direction right so this is the reaction force and the action on pin a will be in this direction so so if we draw the free body diagram let's say if if i draw that this is the pin at a so the pin at a will experience the force in this direction like this and this force will be equal and opposite to that a force so we can say this a force this is equal to uh, 50 kilonewton right this is 50 kilonewton and here at the cross section we will have this a force will be supported by two shear forces because the problem says that it is having double shear force so we will have the opposite shear force va here and we will have the shear force here as well so this is va so now if we apply the sum of the forces along this a force right so the sum of the forces in the direction of a right so we can say along the unit vector of a right? so we can say the unit vector of a this must be equals to zero and now we can say that if this is our positive direction and this is the negative so we can say that plus 50 minus 2 times v a this is equal to 0 so from this we can say that minus 2 times v a is equal to minus 50 and from this we can say that v a is equal to 50 divided by 2 which is 25 kilonewton so the shear force which is supported by these two cross sections of the pin at a is 25 kilonewton and if you want to find the average normal stress at a so the average normal stress at a on the cross section will be equal to VA divided by the area of the pin at A. So VA is 25 kilonewton, so it is 25 into 10 raised to the power 3, and the area will be equal to pi divided by 4 D square. Now D is 25 mm, so 25 divided by 1000, right, since we want to have the dia in meters. So this is equal to the average uh, this is average shear stress remember this is shear stress so we have to represent it by ta a so this is equal to we can say 25 into 10 raised to the power 3 10 raised to power 3 divided by pi divided by 4 multiply by Twenty five divided by thousand square. So this gives us five zero nine two nine five eight one point eight and the units will be in Pascal, right? So this is this is in Newton and this is in meter square. So Newton per meter square is Pascal. And if we shift the decimal place six digits to the left, so this is one, two, three, four, five, six. So this is 50.92. So we can say 50.92 into 10 raised to the power six Pascal. So which will be equal to 50.92 mega Pascal. So the average shear stress which is developed in pin A on the cross sections is 50.92 megapascal due to that force p of 40 kilonewton force in the horizontal direction so this is the solution of this particular problem i hope this will help you in your learning do subscribe engineers academy for the solution of such more problems from mechanics of materials by rc hibler